Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed she were didn't sit work. there. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. <laughs> that's, My name is Nerissa. That's so funny. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Open arms. Oh my god. What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. That's so sick to take pictures too. Person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been... Ah. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Oh, jeez. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. I have to tell Snow what's going on right now. Okay, it's, it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Oh, right jeez. They were on their way out. Bigby! Were you drinking? Wait. Can you just leave me alone, beauty? What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful when you tell her. Me? I have to go. Just wait a second and listen. This is important. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Oh, Jesus. I know she's safe. If you're here, yeah, that's exactly how it is. Circle. She's a People little jealous she and cared for. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain. I don't want to interrupt. I know that she's in, uh, she's safe now. Safe now. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. But I also know that. But the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk I'll about... I'll miss worrying about you. you. All been so I'll great miss our sharing. fights. I'll Your miss you. Oh, that's she cute. Could be stubborn and patient. Rash and thoughtful. How she carried a torch a big, for the old ways, shining star for tradition in this for shithole of a pageantry. <laughs> and I miss you already. And most of all, Grand. it seems how Lily loved, dearly loved her friends and family. Now you will never die she from indifference or 
lead a tedious life. Goodbye, I never sweetheart. Met Lily, but Thanks for everything. What I've been told. Vivian. I know in my heart. I didn't know you she would have liked gave... to be here tonight. And Did now you gave we'll hearts have our... when someone died. A moment of silence. Thank you. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's he wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. No, I know. Not after what he did. Look, Holly, I'm not here to start trouble. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here. Oh, well, Jesus after Christ. you lie, after you promise me. Holly, wait, that was Crane, just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. What? I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Uh -huh. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm yeah. sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Yeah, exactly. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly. This is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the yes. first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? I just want to get Lily's killer, Holly. Nothing more. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, Holly. It's your oh, turn to cool. talk. Yeah. This better be wildly important. Yes. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least, Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I don't know how to say it. just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I thought... I thought you should be the first to know. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. I thought you trusted me more than that. I do. Or... I want to, but you've got a hot head and a big heart, God. and sometimes Ugh. that's not the best combination. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk, and this isn't the place. Snow? Marissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. I will be the nice guy. I will try to be the nice guy. I will skip. How'd it go? At the motel? Shit. Did you find anything? No? Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, uh, Coming! Cops. 
Mr. Moon. Oh Let's no. Make it easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, oh, you no. say, how do you do? How do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you Jergovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. Oh, wow, it but wasn't that bad. And we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an he interest know? in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. You're so ugly. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? No. Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. Oh, yeah. Just kick them. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just no, 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 kill them. Funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. Oh, you no. fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Polly, don't move. Polly, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. <gasps> oh, kill you. Jesus. Oh, damn. I will kill him now if I can. No, no, oh no, 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 I no, I can't do this. No, what should I do? Can I restart this? I don't want them to die. <laughs> okay, I will just see if they survive. Oh wait, did we all die? Is she dead? No, 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 no. Okay. Both of them shoot him anyway. It ends up the same. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Baby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. Well, 
that's easy for you to say. Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it. They're fine. Yes, they're fine. The that I did. Sent home. Oh God. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember Why didn't what I? I said. Uh, the stitches won't hold so up stupid. if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial chicken. roof. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. Oh, she's uncomfortable. So, to recap, <laughs> Crane watched me through oh, the magic not... mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after. Him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. <laughs> that about cover it. And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan currently. But. I, I don't know. We don't have time to wait for the mirror. Crane could be getting on a train right now. Well, I don't want to just go running off into the night without some direction. Oh, that's true. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if, I mean, this is going to sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? But didn't that show you the points to him. I get it, but do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just, it's yes, incomprehensible it to me. He killed them, and he sent D and Dumb to slow me down. He's, he was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. Ew. But murdering yeah, that's true. prostitutes? Ow. Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Oh. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And... I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Why? What's on your mind? It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way, deep inside, you kind of enjoy it. When things go wrong. What is wrong with you? Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yes, I wish I could. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Of course it's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh, it's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. <laughs> she wants to work tea, yeah. it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. It's We're not the monkey's fault. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. Alright. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. Oh. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he's never that smart. <laughs> yeah, that's smart true. to take a piece of the mirror. <laughs> we that... can still solve this ourselves. 
I know Never that mind it... that. Come help me look. Okay. Oh, no, I just listen to the monkey. Why are you so... Oh. <laughs> he looks so sad. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault. I'm trying right? to be nice. Y you mean it? Yeah. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. You do that. Okay, I will just... Uh, see if I can find something. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. A lot of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying <laughs> moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? Don't worry, Snow. Yeah, we'll get him. Yeah. Come on, let's keep looking. Okay, so let's look here. Oh! That was easy. They like. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? The ring of It's a ring at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! <laughs> and I'm hungover, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's hungover. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried... No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he's... Well, he's a bad boy. We need him. ...attempted <laughs> locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the man. Oh, yes. of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at two o'clock. Oh, and he's telling him that. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Oh. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer <laughs> is a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none oh, yeah. of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... Who elected her to spend my money? 
Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well, exactly. excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Well, I would like to have him, him in the team, but he's like... <sighs> Alright, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. <laughs> yes. And that he'll be there too. <laughs> so that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. Mm. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else? The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. So... No, chances are you won't have time. Okay, geez. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. Of course and you can. why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Fine, I don't care. Just go ahead. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ha! What is He's this for something? I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, Ooh, since that's maybe where with, going. Uh, with or the, the sniveling thing. weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Find the witch. <sighs> so you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd well, like to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, I don't no, want I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. I don't want her to die, so maybe I should like, I don't know, and, but I want them to die. Oh god, what should I do? Like last time when I choose uh, the toad. Yeah. Uh, this prince or whatever he was, he died. I could have taken him first and he like... Is this some time? Um. <sighs> you decide, what should I do? I mean, she's obviously still mad at me. And maybe if I just could kill them. It feels like I should go to her bar, but. Train us apartment. We should take care of them first, I guess. D and Dumb must know where he is. I should go to their office first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll look up their address. I hope you know what you're doing. Oh, 
Excuse, Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or dumb? You seen Crane around? Not around here. I saw him leave the woodlands earlier, but I'm not supposed to bother him. Oh. I don't really think he likes me. Just like it's anyone. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. But I like it here. Gotta stay busy, you know? Mm. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. Mm. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. No problem. Mm. I'm He's gonna weird. have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. Yeah, I, I like really the hat. For I want that. Right. You're uh. the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Just keep to the back, out of the way, all right? All right. <laughs> Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. What's that about? <laughs> they do have their quirks. Yeah. <sighs> Don't touch. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. <laughs> Brother Dumb. Couple of freaks. <sighs> this is pointless. <laughs> I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. What? They're kind of loud at times. But you get used to it. <laughs> and when they help people. They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way D explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, yeah. track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages for people. Yeah. They can be like couriers, you know? Or who? All kinds. Yeah. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Huh. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. Sure, flycatcher. So they're not bad people? You know about this? Uh, no. I can't go in here, or can I? I guess I can talk to him. Oh, damn, look at this. Let's see if they've got a file on a crane. Cinderella crane. Ichabod crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How is he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Crane <laughs> hired them to look for a photo? Why did he want it back so badly? So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're detectives, like I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. I haven't found anything yet. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me. Yeah, Tweedle D and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. They come in. Uh, they they help me. Like, okay, they great. They helped you. <laughs> it's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Cinderella. Beauty. That's weird. 
This is worse than I thought. Shit. Detective Brannigan? Keep an eye on her. Cinderella. Well, find anything? Not what I need. What, what if? What if you're wrong about them? What's wrong with I'm him? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when they I think killed, about it, tried you to guys kill aren't some. that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but is that what you think, Big B? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything Because to... they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. Bigby, what happened to your... You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I... I, I, I didn't know. And it doesn't matter if they're really good at hiding their shit, but they're involved all right in all of this. Do you get it now? Oh, be nice to the boy. <sighs> uh, I, I didn't mean to... There's a door behind this file cabinet. I oh my god, Shane! Here, hey! Might be what you're looking for. So nice to see you. Are you awake? Well, How much is the time? How are you and stuff? 